Hey boys and girls, I'm the reading teacher. Thanks for reading with me today. We're gonna read a fiction story called Millie Fierce. And this is written and illustrated by Jane Manning. When you see a front cover and there's only one name, that most often means that this person is both the illustrator and the writer or the author. Let's read Millie Fierce. By the way, do you know what fierce means to be fierce? What does it mean when somebody is fierce? Is it a big personality or a shy personality? Is it a loud personality or a quiet personality? Do you think it's a positive character trait or a negative character trait? Well, we will find out in Millie Fierce. Here we go. Ooh, these end papers may have something to do with the story. Millie Fierce. By Jane Manning. Millie was too short to be tall, too quiet to be loud, and too plain to be fancy. When she spoke at show and tell, hardly anyone listened. When she walked into a room, hardly anyone looked up. And when there was cake to dish out, Millie never got anything better than a small, simple piece. One day, Millie was drawing sidewalk pictures. She had just finished a flower. It was a little bit crooked, but it was the best flower she had ever drawn. All at once, three girls from school marched past her as if she wasn't there. They walked all over her flower and over it and over it until it was nothing more than a big multicolored smudge. Now it does not tell you on this page how Millie is feeling. The author does not give you words to describe how Millie is feeling, but looking at this picture and thinking back to what has just taken place, what do you think is going through Millie's head right now? How is she feeling? Have you ever felt this way? Have you ever felt ganged up on or not heard, not listened to? Do you feel like when you walk into a room that people look up and smile and are glad you're there? If you've ever felt like Millie, that's not a fun feeling, is it? And I think we've all been there. I know I have, and you want to change that. What do you think Millie could do to become more noticed? Let's see what she does. Millie sat there long after the girls had passed. She looked at the smudge. That's me, she said. Millie was tired of feeling like a smudge. She didn't like it, not one bit. What does feeling like a smudge feel like? How do you feel like a smudge? Do you think she just means she doesn't feel important and she doesn't like it? A new feeling rumbled inside her. Millie stood. I'm not a smudge, she said so loudly it surprised her. That's when Millie became fierce. Millie frizzed out her hair and made the crazy eye. She looked in the mirror and growled. Look at me in my ferocity, she yelled. Grandpa Edwin noticed. Hmm, well, it's working. People are noticing her. Is that what she wants? She stomped around in Grandpa's noisy boots, even though it made her toes tingle. And she filed each of her nails to a tiny point. They are short, but they are sharp she said. She scratched them slowly down the chalkboard. The class noticed. Ooh, and that's what she wants, right? She wants people to notice her, but I want you to think about, is she getting noticed for the right reasons? And is she getting noticed in a good way? For Millie Fierce, no line was too long to barge in front of. No food was too tasty to flick across the table. 
Now, people looked Millie Fierce right in the eye. They were mad and said, shh, with angry faces. But they noticed her. And that's what she wants, isn't it? Or is it? She left muddy handprints on the kitchen wall and painted Buddy's face bright blue. Watch out! I bite! She howled like a mad thing. The moon noticed. Little by little, people would sit farther and farther away from her. Hmm. Now that's confusing to me because she's louder and more bold than she was before. She's finally getting noticed. So why are people sitting further away from her? Hmm. Millie Fierce noticed that they didn't look at her as much. So she pulled all the buds off Mrs. Clee's favorite peony and laughed when Mrs. Clee's face turned beet red. She only felt the littlest bad about it. So she's doing things to get noticed, isn't she? But what is still the problem? At school, during Jackie Raymond's birthday party, Millie Fierce danced on her chair like a monkey, but no one watched her, not even to scowl. So Millie Fierce hid the tail of the donkey. She dumped jelly beans on the floor. Just ignore her, said one of the girls in her class. Everyone did. So Millie Fierce grabbed the biggest, best piece of cake, the one with two roses on it. She knew it was the birthday boy's piece. She took it anyway. Just before she took the first bite, she looked around to see if anyone was watching her. Everyone was, but no one made a sound. Except Jackie Raymond who was crying. Why is Jackie Raymond crying? Millie Fierce hung her wild head. For the first time in her life, she wished she was invisible. Why do you think she wished she was invisible? In the beginning of the story, she hated feeling invisible. She hated feeling like nobody noticed her. Why does she want to go back to that now? That day, Millie walked the long way home. She went up to her room and combed out her hair and filed down her nails. She drew a card for Jackie Raymond with a flower on the outside. I'm sorry and happy birthday, she wrote on the inside and signed it Millie. Not Millie Fierce, just Millie. She spit shined grandpa's boots and fed Buddy his supper. Everyone noticed. Now they're noticing her, but what are they noticing? They're noticing the kind things she's doing, not the loud and crazy and silly and rude things she's doing. She's doing things to be helpful and they are noticing. She has a smile on her face and they are noticing. She's being considerate and they are noticing in a good way. Millie decided she liked being good better than being fierce, mostly. How did Millie Fierce solve her problem in the beginning of the story? She tried to solve her problem of being ignored and being invisible by becoming fierce and being somebody that everybody would notice, but they were noticing her for the wrong reasons. Think about the people that you enjoy. Think about the people that when they walk into a room, you are excited to see them. It's because they walk in confidently with a smile, they're kind, they have a nice word to say. So good for Millie for realizing that and being brave enough to change again. We can learn a lot from Millie Fierce, can't we? Hey guys, I hope you have a great day. I will see you soon.